Welcome to PowerPointSkills.com. Um, sometimes we like to use graphics in presentations, but of course we need to use licensed images um, if we're going to pick them up from, uh, from the internet. We have to be very careful that we uh, are not infringing on any copy copyright. I like to make my own sometimes, and uh, if I can't afford to license an image or the licensing is just a bit difficult, then I might create my own. I'm going to show you how to create this image, uh, which looks pretty nice. We could use that in a number of presentations to uh, represent our global organization, for example. And uh, I'm going to create these silhouetted images, which look great uh, against this globe in the background. The globe you'll see is slightly shadowed, and the images are nice and clear in black and white, and they have a little bit of shadowing at the bottom as well. So I'm going to create that image out of some images that I've found on the web, and we'll show you what we do. So I found a nice image of a globe, and I'm going to use that as a base of our presentation. That's a, a JPEG image. First of all, I want to create that shadowing. So I'm going to um, grab a box here and just draw that over the top. Now, when I do that, um, I'm going to say I don't want any outlines. I'm going to take any um, outline away from that. And when I go into Shape Fill, I go into Gradient. And what I want is a, a uh, light to dark or dark to light gradient here. Now, if I go back in and uh, back in my gradients and give me more information about gradients, because that's obviously not going to work, I can see that I have a number of gradient stops. I have three. Um, the first one is a, um, is a blue color. The second one is a lighter blue, and the third one is even lighter again. You can see the coloring there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to stop two, and I'm going to make that white. I'm going to go to stop three and make that white. Back to stop one and I'm going to remove that. So now I have white to white in my gradient. Now what I'm going to do on stop one is I'm going to move um, both of these to 100%. So I'm going to say move this to 100% and transparency to 100%. And then on stop two, move that back to zero. So zero transparency and um, zero colouring, zero stop position. So you can see now I have my nice gradient here and I can move that up to get the right amount of uh, shadowing and there I have my, my globe. Okay, so that's the first step. Now let's insert some images. So I have um, three images here that I'm going to use. Let's insert those and we'll spread those out a little bit. There, one over this side, and one in the middle. Okay. Now, so that we can see what's going on in the background, I'm just going to um, change my background color to a very soft blue, and you'll be able to see what's happening there in the slide as I as I work with these images. Okay. So with a strong image like this one here, um, what I typically like to do is go into format that image and just adjust the brightness and contrast until it's looking fairly strong. I just need to make sure that I've got the best possible contrast to work with. That looks pretty strong um, already. And if I go into my format and recolor this image, I can now set transparent color and click on the white area and my background has disappeared. Now let's go back to format that image and just adjust the brightness, take that right down, take the contrast right up and we have a nice silhouette. Okay. Now let's take a look at image number two. Let's do the same thing. So let's um, just adjust the uh, formatting of the image. Pull the brightness down a little bit maybe and the contrast up a bit just to blow out um, any detail that might still be in, be in the background. So um, in this particular image you can see a little bit of shading down there. I want to try and blow that out before I choose to delete the background color. So get the contrast up again and make that as strong as I can like so. Now if you had to recolor this and set my transparent color, ooh, it didn't quite work. See that? So what I do then, I'll just undo that. 
if you have that, um, that little bit of background colouring again, just go back to your um, contrast, uh, go back to format the picture, get that contrast of the image as strong as possible um, and pull that brightness down as much as you can so that you don't see any detail in that background and then copy that image and paste special paste it as a PNG file okay now I'll delete the, uh, the original so there's our copied file now if I go to um, go back to format that image and recolor that set the transparent color we now have a fairly clean image as you can see here okay so now I can go back to my formatting and change my brightness pull my brightness right down and my contrast right up and we've got some really nice um, imaging there okay so I'll just make that a bit smaller as well Now my third image, same kind of thing, just bring up the, uh, bring down the brightness a little, bring the contrast up, make sure it's nice and strong. Set my transparent colour to white, and that looks pretty good. I'll go back to format that and just bring that uh, brightness down, all the way down, and my contrast all the way up, and there we have it. So what I would try to do next is to then size these images so that they look uh, look about right uh, relative to each other. Just like so, just dragging and dropping on the corners. And I need to add a little bit of uh, a little bit of shadow. So we can add some shadow. Um, here's a shadow of an object with a shadow um, that comes down from the front, like so. Go back and just apply the shadowing um, individually. Oops. Wrong one. We wanted this one down here. And the same for our last image. Go to our shadow and get that nice uh, shadowing there. Change our background color back to white. And there we have it, our own version of the slide uh, with four people in front. Um, we can move those around, we can add more, obviously we can resize them, but we can pretty much emulate the, the original image and uh, come up with our own version of that. Um, hopefully we're not infringing on anyone's copyright. Um, no one can really tell what the original uh, images were or where they were from. And, uh, and there we have it. Thanks for joining us.